everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the Terraria Summoner playthrough. Now today my friends, we are first of all going to go for the beautiful thing that is the slime staff. That is right, it's about time we got ourselves a new summon weapon. So we got the slime statue which we obtained at the very end of the last episode and of course we have that little skeleton farm area. We just got to replace the skeleton statue with the slime statue and bada bing bada boom, the grain can commence. But as always, I do want to start off by saying an enormous thank you for all of the wonderful support you guys have been showing the series so far. I really do appreciate it. I've been having a lot of fun with the series so far. I didn't realize just how fun the summoner class is in the 1.4 update as a whole. So uh, yeah, I'm really glad that we're finally getting around to this playthrough now. So there was one or two of you folks that were saying that uh, you can actually find the Abigail's flower weapon just sort of randomly throughout your world and not necessarily necessarily only nearby a gravestone. So we're going to put that to the test to start off today's episode. We're going to explore the remainder of the surface of our little world here. And then, uh, yeah, if we manage to find it, awesome. If not, then, you know, it kind of is what it is. And then we'll just sort of get on to getting the slime staff. So other things I'd like to do in today's episode involve upgrading our tools. Just in general, we still have the rather crummy copper and wooden tools at the moment might be a nice idea as well to think about upgrading our armor although with that said in the last episode i did mention that the reason i'm not doing upgraded stuffs is because i want to keep myself below 10 defense so we don't have the eye of cthulhu naturally spawning on us because you need 200 health and at least 10 defense on your person for the Eye of Cthulhu to have a chance of spawning in naturally. But anyways, here we are, my friends. We are now exploring the unexplored. And what do you know? The dungeon is actually the first thing we're coming across. I will pick up this water candle for the simple reason of farming. You know, we can make ourselves a bit of a mob farm out of that. But anyways, continuing on, we've got ourselves a desert here. My good gosh, that is a very big desert. It goes very high up as well, doesn't it? <laughs> oh my crikey. Oh, hello there, buddy. Oh, look at this. We've got ourselves a whopping great tree. Okay, well, we're going to open up the chest here. See what we've got here. We have some building related stuffs. That's pretty nice. And right at the bottom, we got ourselves a little chest. Ah, very nice, very nice. Okay, well, that's that tree explored. Let's get back to the surface and resume our hunt for the Abigail's flower. Well, it's not on the left-hand side of the world, unfortunately. Uh, the sleeping angler has already spawned in. Uh, where the devil he is, I've no idea. Oh, no, he must be out in the ocean, eh? All right, come on in, buddy. There you are. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, well, uh, let's go ahead and use the time we have here before we die to explore the ocean. Maybe we can find ourselves a chest or two. That'd be kind of cool. No? No chests? Really? Wow, that's rare. Oh, and just to show you guys before you get angry with me, because I didn't show you guys what this guy has. Uh, basically, things that I don't need, really. Hey, guys, you know what? I just realized we could totally go ahead and try and take down King Slime with the Slime Staff when we eventually grab it. I mean, that'd be pretty funny, wouldn't it? Little baby slimes against a big old King Slime. Ah, oh, the slime wars are going to be very, very real in today's episode if we wind up getting the slime stuff relatively early on. And what do you know? No sign of the Abigail's flower on the right-hand side of the world either. But uh, no matter. We are still going to explore the ocean. There is indeed the chest right here. Okay, very, very good. Uh, kind of struggling to see. I could just about make out the outlines of the chests here, which I guess is the uh, main thing. Oh, good grief. I really can't see anything. All right, so there's one there. Got some shark bait. Very good. Get another chest. And I think that's just about it, my friendos. All right, very good. So what do we actually get there? A couple of tridents. We've got ourselves a flipper, an inner tube. We've got the shark bait pet. Nice. I'm going to keep the eucalyptus sap on, though, just because it's kind of amazing. I'm sure the Abigail's flower will crop up at some point, my friends. I just hope that it's sometime relatively soon, so we actually do still get a good amount of usage out of it, okay? I'm actually really, really looking forward to getting myself a new summon weapon. And once we do manage to get it, 
We're going for King Slime. Hey, hey. All right, so goodbye, skeleton statue. And in you go, slime statue. So, bada bing, bada boom. Yeah. Right, now somehow I need... Oh, wait, I'll just do this. That's a way easier way of doing it. We could basically just have, like, one of our dudes... <laughs> yeah, this'll work. This'll work quite nicely, actually. So, the one thing to bear in mind is when you spawn the slimes out of a slime statue, their drop chances for pretty much everything are greatly reduced. But, you can still get the slime stuff via doing this, okay? So, um... Yeah, we, we're just gonna we're just gonna keep on here, my friends. We're just gonna keep on until we get the slime staff. And I'm just now realizing, since we're getting banners from these dudes, I could place them down and then uh, have the slimy dudes get killed way the heck quicker. <laughs> That's 200 blue slimes now taken out. That's. 300 blue slimes taken out and no slime staff. I must admit, I can't even remember how many blue slimes I wound up taking out on my normal Let's Play world to try and get the slime staff on there. I'm hoping I can beat whatever number it was. Uh, whether or not that's going to happen or not, I guess remains to be seen. <laughs> that's 400 now. 500 blue slimes. 600 now. I'm not giving up until this is done and I have my slime staff. Come on, Terraria. Any day now, eh? Any day now. Will I be able to retire by the time I get the slime staff? Will I be an OAP? Will I be needing a Stannis stair lift by the time I get the slime stuff? I just don't know. 700 blue slimeronies now. 800 blue slimes taken out. That's now 900 blue slimes. We're almost certainly going to get to 1,000 before we get the slime stuff, aren't we? And there we have it. 1,000. <laughs> uh, okay, no more counter cuts. We are going to just cut towards getting the slime staff now, because uh, yeah, this is getting kind of long, Windy. I swear this game knows that I'm doing a summon a playthrough and is therefore not giving me the rare drops that I'm looking for. The slime staff is just being ever elusive. It's just not dropping. It just isn't dropping. I know for a fact that it does because it happened in my normal Let's Play series. But here we are. My goodness me, I'm going to need to give the space bar on my keyboard a vacation after this. Yeah! There it is! Okay! Finally! Okay, very, 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 very good indeed! Plus mana cost. You know what? That doesn't even matter. It actually does an identical amount of damage on the surface of it anyway compared to the uh, flick staff here. So there we have it. We finally got the slime staff, my friend. We persevered. Look at this. 37 blue slime banners. That will be, what, 37 times 50, which is... I mean, it's got to be getting on for near 2,000 blue slimes, eh? Good lord. Crikey O'Reilly. Okay, well, there we have it, my friends. And next, summon weapon. Right, let's check on the uh, left-hand side here. And, uh, of course, there is no sign of the Abigail's flower. So then, ladies and gentlemen, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to do a little bit of upgradage. Check this out, my friends. We've got quite a lot of lead, quite a lot of silver, quite a lot of gold as well. We could probably make ourselves some fairly all right pieces of gear out of all of this. All right, very good. So we have the option to make ourselves some silver pants or even gold pants. If I make myself gold pants, though, I won't be able to make myself a crown, which, of course, is what I'm going to be needing. Ah oh, man. That would have been quite a nice amount of defense increase. Anyways, uh, there we are. We've got that going on. That's still a two defense increase. We've still got the anklet of the wind, which gives us a little bit of additional defense as well, which, of course, is very, very nice. Uh, the climbing claws will probably be the thing that is replaced. So, boom, 12 defense and boom, 14. All right, very good. All right, so check it out. We do indeed have rubies here as well, which is great because it means that we can make ourselves 
Oh, one of these bad boys. A golden crown. Now, it goes without saying we are indeed going to need a proper little arena because, you know, we're only really restricted to summoner weapons. And that means a lot of the time our minions are going to be the ones doing the damage. So, uh, yeah, we are most definitely going to need an arena, my friends. We need some campfires, maybe a heart lantern or two. All right, very good. So here we are, my friends. There is the slime crown. To be honest, I probably should have made multiple just in case things go a little bit awry. Uh, but yeah, nevertheless, we are still going to make ourselves a little sort of rudimentary arena. Uh, where exactly we're going to do that? Probably on the right hand side here really where it's nice and flat and would you look at that? We're picking up some more little fallen stars along the way as well. Here we are. What do we got? 160 mana right now? I've just realized something, my friends. It's actually really, really good that we've got on ourselves a crimson rod because when it becomes hard mode, we're going to be able to make the flasks of Icor. Ah. So yeah, future proof python from the past. Thinking ahead. All right, very good. I'll tell you something else as well in terms of future proofing. If we wind up dying to King Slime, we can kind of use that death and spin it in a positive light in that what we can do is we can pick up the gravestone and put it right next to the other one and maybe we have a slightly increased chance of and Abigail's flower growing. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I do believe that the time has come where we're ready to try to do this thing. So we've got Iron Skin, we've got Swiftness. Do we have any regular regen? Uh, doesn't look like it. I might take Heart Reach Potion just in case. Thorns Potion, I kind of want to save that for a slightly higher end boss. Uh, but yeah, certainly some more normal regen would be very, very nice. Uh, do we, by any chance have any heart crystals yes we do okay brilliant all right so maximized regeneration of health well are three different sources of health regen campfire heart lantern and the regen potion yeah all right so ladies and gentlemen we're gonna zoom on out and we're gonna buff on up and we're gonna da, 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 do this thing all right king slimo it is slime wars time Let's see what our slimy fellas can do. All right, doing pretty good so far, actually, I would say. <laughs> All right, so, yep, yeah, there we are. A big old hop. There we are. You do three little hops, right? Okay, and then a big hop. Yeah. All right, so far, so good, my friends. Already halfway through the entire fight. And there's the big hop. Okay, brilliant. It's interesting that these guys don't seem to come through the platforms and, uh, you know, come down to the floor and try and kill me, eh? Hmm, interesting. Interesting, interesting, to say the very least. But never mind, I'm not going to complain about it. Oh, good, sweet lord, okay. Doing your little uh, teleporting thingy ma hickey, are we? No, sir, that is not cool. I tell you what, this combination, the slime staff, the snap thorn, it's disgusting. This hasn't even been slightly difficult. My goodness me. Not even slightly difficult. I tell you what. That was just easy street. It really, really was. <laughs> <sighs> well, there we are, my friends. That, as they say, was that. We've got the ninja hood. We've got the ninja shirt. We can have increased crit chance. But here's the thing. We don't really do crit chance with summon stuffs, do we? I think later on, there is an accessory that allows you to do critical strikes. But right now, early game, I don't think we could do critical strikes. So the ninja armor is essentially useless. So yeah, there we go, my friends. That was the first boss in progression. That was King Slime. And to be honest with you, I honestly genuinely feel like we could probably... Go straight for the Eye of Cthulhu and not even worry about it. And check it out. Since we got ourselves a few bits of gold ore, what that means is we can indeed make the golden pants. <laughs> All right. One additional defense for your boy. Yeah. All right. Very good. Uh, slime hook. Pretty sure the Ivy Whip is better than the Slime hook. So we're pretty much just going to go ahead and sell this. Uh, Silver Greaves, that could probably go. The Tungsten can stay. The Ninja Armor, as nice as it would have been in a normal playthrough, it's not really that useful in this one. So with the rest of the silver, we are going to make for ourselves some up graded jewels. I mean, why wouldn't I? Eh? There we are. Oh, wow. A legendary silver pickaxe. Hey, <laughs> very nice. If you ask me, that is very nice. Guys, 
We didn't die during the King Slime fight. Oh, man. Which means we didn't get any more tombstones to place down and therefore have maybe a slightly increased chance of the Abigail's flower growing. Ah, oh, man. I never thought I would be dejected at the very thought of not dying. I guess I'm just too good at this game, eh? <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, here's the thing as well. We actually already have ourselves a suspicious looking eye. All we need to do is we need to wait for nighttime to roll around, I guess. All right, my friends, place your bets. Place your bets now. What are the chances of us actually getting a free Eye of Cthulhu spawn on this next night, eh? Mmm, we shall see soon enough. We shall see soon enough. We have way over 10 defense. We are well above the criteria for the Eye of Cthulhu to naturally spawn in. Alrighty, sunset is upon us. Are we or are we not going to get ourselves a free Eye of Cthulhu spawn? Okay, no. No free Eye of Cthulhu spawn. That means... We need to summon him in. Hello there, buddy. 3,600 health. I really shouldn't be overly difficult to do here, my friend. Those not with this disgusting combo that we've got going on right now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, let's be honest. It's going to be the third phase where things might start getting just a little bit on the difficult side. But then again, this whip, this slime staff, it does the job, doesn't it? Look at that. Already heading into second phase, ladies and gentlemen. This has been an absolute breeze so far. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I love this combo. It's such a good combo, isn't it? It really, really is. I really am genuinely having an absolute ton of fun with this class so far. I'm just so sad at myself for not having done this sooner. All right, well, here we are, my friends. The Eye of Cthulhu does seem to be going just a little bit berserk mode here. And there he goes. He is dead, and we have our first trophy. All right, excellent. We didn't even wind up using these little buffs here, but uh, never mind. Look at that. We got a warding shield of Cthulhu. Oh, that's excellent. Wow, okay. Uh, hard aglet. We could probably take off the aglet. Yes, yes. Maybe, maybe that'll be the way to go. Allow the ability to dash. Yes, very good. And, once again, increased defense. <laughs> very good, eh? Very good. I'm just now realizing as well, ladies and gentlemen, we've got the anklet of the wind, we've got the Hermes boots. If we were to find ourselves the goblin tinkerer after taking down the goblin army, we would be able to buy the rocket boots and actually be able to make ourselves the frost spark boots straight away, would you believe? Eh? That's pretty cool, isn't it? Ah, once again, we didn't die, so no sign of any further tombstones. Ah, dear. <laughs> ah, we'll get the Abigail's flower when we get it, my friends. I'm not going to force it. I'm not going to purposely die 17,000 times just so I can get the tombstones necessary to maybe have a chance of getting it slightly quicker. I just think that's stupid, to be honest with you. We'll get it. When we get it, okay? For now, though, I do believe it is going to be time to wrap up the episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode and the fact that we've taken down the first two bosses in progression here with our disgusting loadout of the Snapthorn and the Slime Staff, then please do be sure, of course, to head down below the video and spend a second to drop a like if you haven't already. It really does help out myself, the channel, and the video massively. Hit the subscribe button if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.